Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at the first one I'm gonna show you and I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> And it says open last. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are first gonna talk about big money plush. Plush that sells for big bucks. And then I also have some buddy mail that I'm gonna open at the end of the show. Oh my goodness, I got the sweetest gift. Wait until you guys see it. And shout out to Seem So Vintage for this adorable hat that she made me. Oh my goodness. And uh, Seems So Vintage is over on Whatnot. I don't know if she's going to be selling these in her shop or not, but she definitely should be because it is a perfect fit. And it's purple, and I love it. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you big money plush stuffed animal bolos that were shared by members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I put this... <laughs> I shared this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It says, share your best plush Bolo. And this is my Facebook group. Definitely come over and join if you're not already there. And I would love for you to share one of your plush Bolos. But this one, never seen it. Wow, it is, it's different. And that's probably why it sold for so much. I bought this 2005 Godzilla character plush from Value Village for $3. I sold it on eBay for asking price of $200. Took two months to sell. It is by Toy Vault. It is King Caesar plush Godzilla. Rare, and it says read. Bought for 50 cents at a thrift store, sold for $25. It is a 2019 Animal Kingdom Disney Park 7-inch chip plush, and it sold for $25 plus shipping. Got it at my local small town thrift store for $1. Sold in less than two weeks for full asking price. Oh my goodness, $365 this sold for. Team Fortress 2 Red Talking Dispenser Plush. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. Got him at the Goodwill Bins, paid about a dollar. Took a couple months to sell, sold for full asking price. Vintage 1990, 1979 Dr. Seuss The Lorax Plush Stuffed Animal by Eden Toys. $64.35 plus shipping. Oh my, I've never seen him. That one's cool. Bought this light furry at Goodwill for a dollar. Sold in a few days for $32.99 to someone in Puerto Rico. Not as good as some on here, but I will take it. How to Train Your Dragon, yes. These um, are from a movie, a kid's movie, and there's different ones, and they are a nice little pickup. I would definitely pick those up if I saw them. Bought end of April at a thrift shop for 75 cents. It was in a big lot for $3. I always look up vintage Russ. Sold in four months for full price, even having issues with the fabric. Russ love pets. Polar bear home buddies terry cloth plush chubby comfort beanie. $45. Anything terry cloth, look it up. I purchased this giant bag of Neopet plush for $2.99 at a local thrift store. Sold them on eBay for $750. So she took the easy road, but definitely made a profit. Oh my goodness. The whole bag of plush was $2.99. I want to go to your thrift store. Are you kidding me? $750. Tell me, would you have parted it out or would you have sold them in a lot like this? Neopets can be big money. I don't know how many are there, but man, oh man. Wow. Wow. There's 31. I'm looking here. It says 31. <gasps> I don't know. I think I would have comped them individually, but she made a great profit. Disney Figment Hand Puppet. Got it at the bins. Paid $2. Sold in a week right before Christmas for $250. I have talked about this guy before. He is definitely a bolo. If you can find him, Look him up. Different ones go for different money. This one is a hand puppet. And that one sold on Poshmark. So again, Poshmark and Mercari, great for plush. Pick this little guy up at the Goodwill Bins. He cost about 75 cents. Had him listed for a while on eBay. Sold in a couple of weeks after listing on Mercari. Sold for a best offer of 10. Buyer paid shipping. So it's a retired Thai beanie baby. It's a, it's a beanie weenie. It's a beanie weenie. It's a dash hound. No, not dash hound. It's a Dotson. I always say dash hound and it's Dotson. 
Why do they spell it like that? Why oh why? Um, it's a small dog from 1995. So this is a, a T.Y. Beanie Weenie. Beanie Weenie. <laughs> is it really called a Beanie Weenie or are they just calling it a Weenie because it's a, a Dotson? <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, like I said, get those plush on Mercari and Poshmark. They are great platforms for plush. Uh, $10 if you join with my referral link down below for Poshmark. And $10 to shop when you join with my referral link down below for Mercari. And if you sell on Mercari, you're going to get an additional $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's $30 bucks for using my referral link down below. And I get money to shop too, so thank you for using my referral links. Paid $5.99, sold for $200 with shipping because the buyer reached out to me when I had it up for auction originally and told me how much she would love it for collection, her collection. It, um, it sold auction for $480, but the person that did it bid it up on purpose and didn't pay. Had at least five people bidding. I hate it when that happens. It is a rare Build-A-Bear St. Louis Zoo exclusive white billy goat. St. Louis Zoo. If you know that it came from the St. Louis Zoo and it is a Build-A-Bear, it is more than likely going to be a big money bolo. Check out my Build-A-Bear bolo category videos. Type Bolo Buddies Build-A-Bear into the YouTube search. These Build-A-Bear bolos are going to blow your mind. I'm not kidding. They're crazy. It's crazy what they go for, some of them. Most of them are bread and butter. So look at those videos, figure out which ones go for big money. And a lot of times Build-A-Bear go for more money on Mercari. So keep that in mind and definitely cross post those build of bears to Mercari. Sold it for $200 on eBay. This is what it looks like. Paid under $2 and sold on auction for $66.69. Had a few low offers in the beginning of the auction. Started at $25 to make it fair. A fair fight auction. It's a Disney Cruise Line Wish Inaugural Sailings Mickey Mouse plush. And this is what it looks like. Got off Facebook for free. Listed for $99. Took a best offer of $75 the next day. Blue Lobster Build-A-Bear stuffed plush with tag. Never seen that one. That's very cool. Bought for $1.50 at a local thrift store on half off day. Sold within two days for $225. I told you guys, these bolos are amazing. Vintage strawberry shortcake, pet souffle, skunk, <laughs> skunk plush, friend of angel cake, $225. What? That's awesome. Bought this years ago for my son. Sold on Mercari for $52.94. So she bought it for her son and flipped it on Mercari. Um, it, this one comes from Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube. And it's a Disney store Peter Pan, one of twins, lost boys, raccoon plush toy stuffed animal. That is fun. I picked up this Build-A-Bear plush, and I've talked about this one a lot in my Build-A-Bear <laughs> in my Build-A-Bear Bolo videos. Um, this one is a pretty common, well-known Bolo. Um, it also comes in the shape of a cat. This one is a bear. The cat goes for more. Bought it at a small thrift store for three and sold it for full asking price of $99.99 plus shipping a few weeks after being listed. It is a Build-A-Bear Pumpkin Pow Halloween Teddy Plush Pumpkin Nose Stuffed Animal. And this is what it looks like. Paid a dollar at the thrift. Sold for full asking price in about two weeks. This is on Etsy, by the way. Bolo Buddies member Vintage Spice. And again, cross post, cross post, cross post. Uh, Etsy, I keep seeing a lot of vintage plush going on Etsy. If you're not cross-posting, I use List Perfectly to cross-post. I have a tutorial video, demo video down below. If you watch that and decide you want to try it, it's going to get your items on the platforms quicker. Uh, coupon code BOLOBUDDIES. That's my referral link. There's a link down below, and BOLOBUDDIES is my referral code. You will get 30% uh, off your first month of List Perfectly. It is Vintage Toto Dog Plush Puppy Stuffed Animal Pacific Craft Wizard of Oz Beanie. $34.99, and this is what it looks like. So Etsy is more for vintage items, but yeah, some of the plush are going for big money over there. So um, let me know if you sell plush on Etsy and how you're doing on that platform. Found this jelly cat turtle at my local thrift store, paid $3, sold fairly quickly within a week for $100. It's a jelly cat. If you haven't seen my jelly cat 
category bolo video, check it out. Some go for like hundreds. Like there's one that goes for over $800, a jelly cat. If you don't know about it, search jelly cat bolo buddies and you'll find out. Jelly cat toodle, toodle, blue tortoise turtle soft toy retired. hundred bucks. I don't remember where I got this from or I'm probably paid a dollar or less. Sold while I was on vacation for $165. It is an Eden Peter Rabbit plush waffle weave Frederick Warren stuffed animal toy. And this one comes from the Rebel Reseller. If you are not following the Rebel Reseller, check her out on YouTube. She is incredible and she is a big money plush bolo finder, but she sells big money other bolos too. She has recently come over to Whatnot and joined the craziness. She is typically doing a video on Saturday, not a video, a live show on Whatnot on Saturday selling plush. The Rebel Reseller, check her out. If you're not on Whatnot, you can use my referral link down below. That's going to get you $15 to shop. Come follow me on Bolo Buddies, all one word over there. And you can use that $15 with anybody on Whatnot. It doesn't have to be me. So you can even buy something from the Rebel Reseller. She's fantastic. Here's another one. Always look up plush made of terry cloth or waffle weave fabric. Yes. Picked, uh, probably picked up at a yard sale or estate sale for a dollar and sold for $125. Kids gift white bear plush terry cloth primary color block 12 inch stuffed toy. And this is what it looks like. And I think I just shared this in one of my category videos. I didn't know it was hers. Purchased at a yard sale for $2, took a best offer of 60 plus shipping. It is a vintage Fisher Price Kermit the Frog 850 Jim Henson Muppet plush from 1976. And this is what it looks like. All right, you guys. All right, I have some buddy mail and I like to refer to people who send me things by their eBay store name and she is Pinky's Secondhand Store and it looks like she sent me some jewelry. So she has sent me a couple boxes before and typically what I do is I list those items on eBay but she knows that I'm selling on Whatnot now so it looks like she sent me some jewelry. So let's check it out and see what we have. It looks like all of this stuff is labeled. How cool is that? So this looks like we have a bunch of cute little bracelets. Oh, I like that one. Check that out. That is a cool shape. Ooh, look at these fun little bracelets. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Pretty, pretty. And that one's really cute. It's got a little chain on it. Huh. Let's see what that is. It's always fun looking up new things. This one says, oh, oh, this one's sterling. Nice. Check it out. That is really cool. I'm glad I looked at that. And then we've got these pretty little, um, what do you call them? Stars, some earrings. This has, I don't know what brand that is. So a lot of this, um, so she sent me these items to sell and I will more than likely be bringing most of this to whatnot, but let's look through the bag of goodies, shall we? And then we'll see what's in this last. <laughs> All right, so this says Carolee, faux pearl vintage necklace. So she's like giving me the information that I need in everything. And I'm guessing this is probably signed somewhere. Items are typically signed like on the clasp somewhere. So um, faux means that it's not real pearls. Silver tone butterfly stone necklace, a vintage. How cute is that? Ooh, and look how pretty that is. That looks like it might be glass. That's beautiful. We have beaded bracelet and necklace, a vintage. She knows I love selling vintage. So if you guys come to my whatnot shows, you may see some of these items in the future. Marked 925, mother of pearl, eight and a half, white inlay ring, vintage. So I will give that a little test. Um, I have a whole bag of sterling that I'm gonna test. Um, and then I wanna have a whatnot show that is all 925 sterling, Oh, look at this. So that'll be in the future as well. 
vintage necklace. She's not sure what brand it is, but look how pretty that is. Ooh, I love that. I love that. I might wear that first. <laughs> wear it and then sell it. Uh, corded pink rhinestone breast cancer necklace. How cute is that? That is really nice. She's so thoughtful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is a necklace and it's got these really pretty, I'm guessing faux pearl, but it also has these really pretty things here as well. That is about um, as good as I get when it comes to descriptions. If you come over to my whatnot, a lot of times I just show you stuff and I'm like, I don't know what this is. And if you're not on whatnot, uh, you guys can use my link down below to join and get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. And this looks like uh, one of those wrap bracelets and they're gold tone. Very cute. And I would love you guys to come and hang out. Ooh, I like this one too. It says Japan. I love Japan. How cool is that? That is a sharp looking vintage necklace right there. Very cool. She knows my taste. Uh, these are vintage Mexico earrings and they're probably that probably says Mexico and maybe alpaca. Yeah, alpaca. Yep. Very cool. This is so sweet. Thank you so much for the gift. I appreciate it. This is a vintage necklace, it says. Costume. I'm not sure what that is right there. About taken out of the package. Woo! <laughs> I about dumped this one. All right, we've got a bunch of brooches. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. What is she doing? Is she Oh, she's trying to golf and it went around a uh, thing. That's so funny. And then we've got the cute little plastic ones. Uh, a lot of these are made by Hallmark or uh, Russ, different brands like that. Uh, this one is Fun World Division. Here is a Mother of Pearl uh, G, I think. Is that a G? That one's really old too. So a grandma brooch and then uh, that's super cute for Thanksgiving. And some more of these. Oh, look at this little frog. So cute. Thank you so much. I love it. Um, this one says Avon Heart Rose Ribbon Earrings. And this one says Alexa Angel Silvertone Family Mini Hearts Necklace. That must be what it says on it. I'm not sure if that's, maybe that's the brand right there on the tag. And we have some bangle bracelets, gold tone. You can wear those all at the same time, layer them, very cute. This says Mother of Pearl 925 Dome Pendant. Ooh, now that is rad, look at that. And it's signed 925. So again, I do test everything just to confirm before I sell. Marked 925 etched hinged bracelet. Uh, so this is kind of like that other one. Wow, she sent me 925. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. What a cool looking bracelet. I bet it's uh, marked right there. There. So the marking is there on the inside. Sometimes it'll be marked sterling. Sometimes it'll be marked 925. And this says Charles Garnier. Garnier? <laughs> sterling rose gold oval earrings. Teardrop. How pretty are those? So I'll have to see how she figured all that information out. I bet they're signed somewhere. So thank you so much. And it says open last. All right. This is an early Christmas gift. Enjoy, Tracy. Whoa, whoa mama. Oh, cool. My husband will love this. He loves old coins. How cool is that? It's an old penny. Wow. And what? Are you kidding me? You did not have to do that. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. And this is just super cool. I can't wait to share that with my husband. 
Thank you so much, Tracy. I appreciate you. And um, I just wanted to share some buddy mail with you guys. So most of this will come to whatnot. And um, usually what I do when I do the unboxings is I show you how I list everything. And I've done a couple other things that she has sent me and I have unboxings of those. And I list the items on eBay, but she knows that I'm selling on whatnot. So it was super thoughtful of her to send me items that I could sell on whatnot. So thank you so much. All right, I've got another buddy mail gift and this one comes from Lucky Day Shop over on Whatnot. She sells awesome jewelry, definitely check her out. But she said, I'm sending you an owl. I don't know if you'll like it, but I absolutely love it. Look at this amazing glass owl. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out List Perfectly, Worth Point, American Bubble Boy, um, Mercari, Poshmark. All of those referral links are down below. Definitely use them. Um, most of them, you get something if you use them. So that's great. And then I also, they are referral links, so I get something also. So that helps me keep this channel going. And um, I really appreciate it when you guys use those referral links. So thank you for checking them out. They are in the description of the video. Come see me on Whatnot. It's super fun. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. And again, the Rebel Reseller's over there now, so follow her as well. And as always, thanks for watching. And I think I already said this, but be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out those Bolo category videos. I got a whole bunch of plush videos like this. And come over to the Facebook group and share your plush Bolo. Thanks for watching.